Welcome to the second part of Spring Boot with Kubernetes tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to look at how we are going to set up our project for this entire series. So the approach we are going to take is, as we discussed in the previous uh, episode, we are going to have a backend REST API that is built using Spring Boot, which talks to PostgreSQL database. And we have front-end application built using Next.js, which talks to the API. So as a user, we are going to use um, UI and then we are able to use bookmarking application. So the approach we are going to follow is, we are going to start with building the REST API using Spring Boot. Once we are done with it, we are going to start building the Next.js UI application. And then we are going to uh, prepare the Kubernetes manifest files for deploying onto Kubernetes cluster. And we are going to use Kind cluster. So if you want to follow along with me in this entire series, you need to install all these tools. So first one is using JDK. Uh, I would highly recommend you to use SDK man, which uh, really helps in automatically installing various versions of JDK. And you can also switch uh, to different JDK versions per project very easily. If you are not familiar with SDK man, I have created a video on SDK man. So I would highly recommend you to watch it. Next one is as we are uh, using React.js and Next.js, we need to have these Node.js tools like Node and NPM. So we need to install Node.js. And for local development, we are going to use Docker and Docker Compose so that we can spin up a PostgreSQL database as a Docker container. And also we can package our applications, uh, front end and back end as a Docker containers. and we can run entire setup with one single command. And finally, when we are deploying our application onto Kubernetes, we need to have this kubectl uh, utility to talk to Kubernetes cluster. And we are going to use kind cluster. Uh, alternatively, you can use uh, Minikube, but I would uh, recommend you to use kind, which is lightweight compared to Minikube. And finally, this lens is a GUI tool to uh, Kubernetes, which is really helpful. So I will put all these installation links in the video description so that you can follow along these links and then install all these, to all these uh, tools. Next is, uh, let us have this project set up. First thing we are going to do is creating a GitHub repo. I have already created a uh, GitHub repo here, Spring Boot Kubernetes YouTube series. Right now, it is completely empty with simple readme file. And now uh, we will start with creating the Spring Boot API application. We are going to use start.spring.io, so which is called Spring Initializer. So one very handy uh, feature of this Spring Initializer is, let's say you are building Spring Boot applications, a lot of Spring Boot applications for any reason. What you can do is you can choose what is the preferred uh, Spring Boot version you want to use, what is the language you want to use, Maven or Gradle, and provide the project metadata, and also select whatever uh, uh, status you want to use. And then you can click on the Share button, which generates a complete uh, URL. You can copy it, and even you can bookmark it also. And here, if you simply paste that link, it will preload all the configurations that you provided earlier. So if you are generating a lot of Spring Boot applications for any reason, this comes really handy. So what I did, I generated such a URL here. So when I click on it, it loaded all the configuration. We are going to build a Maven uh, project and we are using Java and 2.7.0 is the Spring Boot version. And I also provided all the project metadata, what is group ID, artifact ID, and things like that. We are going to use JAR packaging and Java 17. And also I have selected all these starters. Uh, we are going to use dev tools for auto reloading and Lamba configuration processor. And mainly we are going to uh, have a Spring Web, actuator, test containers for writing integration tests. We are going to use PostgreSQL and a Spring Data JPA and flyway migrations for data migrations. 
we selected both h2 and postgresql uh, we can leave a uh, choice whether user want to use h2 so that it is easier to get up and running or they want to use postgresql finally we are uh, selecting this validation so that we can perform bin validations so these are all the status we have uh, selected so now i can generate this application and then i can extract it and uh, copy it into my repository over here so i have cloned the uh, repository and i have copied bookmarker api uh, that i just generated into this one so this is uh, we can right click on palm.xml and click on add as mom project so it is going to uh, convert this into a java project now so we can start working on this application so this is all the setup that we have uh, to get started and we are going to start building the feature from next video onwards so stay tuned and watch for the upcoming videos of spring boot with kubernetes tutorial series thanks for watching mm -hmm.